Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to give a little reflection about praising the young. How it is really important that you give appreciation and feelings of gratitude to the youth. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so I'm out here, a beautiful winter's day. And I was reading I and John by Robert Bly recently. And I came across, across a quote by Robert Moore, who wrote the books, The King, Warrior, Magician, Lover, which are books that I've read. And in it, he talks about the, the importance of praising the young. And in particular, he's talking about young men. And he says, if a young man is not being admired, blessed, then he is, by an older man, then he is being harmed. If a young man is not being admired, blessed by an older man, then he's being harmed, hurt. So I really see that in kind of relationships between fathers and sons and, you know, daughters as well and children. It's this thing that we're constantly putting our children down. They get 9 out of 10. We point out the one thing they didn't get right. So we're kind of giving across this thing to our children that they're not good enough. That they need to be better. And the truth is, is they will be better if we focus on the 9 things they got right. But in fact, what we do is we focus on that one and we are bringing up children who have a lot of self-doubt. Who think they're not good enough. And maybe that you can relate to that in your own life, but maybe you can look at your own children and go, actually, yeah, I really see that with my children. They are really self-critical. And that's because we're critical with them. We are pointing out what's not right. And I, I truly believe in, when it's appropriate, to have boundaries with children. I think that's really, really important. And yet, we need to be praising them for every time we're telling them this is the boundary. We need to be praising them at least five times, ten times. And I love what uh, Robert Moore talks about with the, the Grail Cup. And he says that as with most um, mythologies, the mythologies is essentially talking and telling us about our own psyche, about our own internal world. And this the legend of the grail, searching for the grail, he says the grail cup is within us. And as young boys, young girls, we're sculpting this grail cup within us. But we can't do it alone. We have to have the help of our elders, teaching us how to do things, guiding us with our internal world, how to deal with stuff. But in the modern world, we're not really doing that. And what we're bringing up is dysfunctional males and females. This is kind of what Robert Moore talks about. So therefore it is really important that we help our children sculpt this grail cup. And how we do that is praise. By really being there for them when they're upset. You know, not trying to fix them, just being there, holding them. And, and praising. So it's finding something that your child has really done well at. And... You know, especially for fathers with sons. It's like, what have you done well at? Uh, you did brilliantly at, um, at football today, at soccer. You scored a great goal or that was a great tackle. It's finding that and praising them for it. Because, like I say, so often in school, because they're being, they're being criticised for not being good enough. Because the, the teachers are being criticised because they're not... Um, getting the right notes, you know, if they've got the, the right marks. I hope that makes sense. So really, what I'm trying to get across is praise your children. Praise them. Know that you're really sculpting their inner world. You're giving them that confidence, that faith that they are good enough. Really let them know. Not just saying you're good enough. It's like specific things like you wash the dishes tonight. You tidied your room. It's like, brilliant, thank you. It's like really giving them that praise and that love and that attention. Put your phones down 
and give them that love and attention. So, from this beautiful place on the moors this winter morning, um, wishing you many blessings and yeah, uh, thank you for watching this.